Hello, this is the instructions for Spreadsheet Module A, Homework Part 1 and 2. So on the screen right now is the work, workbook with many worksheets at the bottom. That is Part 2 of this assignment. Part 1 is just to, to create a brand new worksheet called Fruit Sales. If you wanted to do it in a completely different, its own workbook, you could do Control N and complete, um, start a completely different workbook. Or at the end of this one, just click the plus sign down at the bottom on the status bar and create a whole new worksheet. And I'm just going to drag it to the end and I'm going to right click, rename it, and this will be called Fruit Sales. Enter. So here I am in a blank one. And in A1, it will be called Fruit Sales, comma, space, 2018, enter. I'll press enter again. These are the column titles, last name, tab, first name, tab, fruit, tab, units, tab, unit space price, tab, total sales, this time I'm going to press enter so it brings me to a new row and we'll fill in the names blue tab al fruit is apples and the units 12 price $1.49 enter next person coral tab bev the fruit is bananas tab the units 5 and the price 69 cents Next is Olive tab, Ham, Grapes tab, $3.25, enter. Black tab, Ben tab, Pears tab, 5 units at $1.79, enter. So it's hard to see, but the E is missing, so I'm just going to go to between the boundaries of A and B and just stretch it out a little bit. Or I can, when I'm between, because the E is chopped off in first name, I could hold and drag or just double click. So I made it so that you can see all of the content in the cells. Um, for the title, I'm going to center it between, it looks like S is, is chopped off here, so I'm going to double click between F and G there. Now I'm going to center the title, so in Fruit Sales, and it looks like 2018 is in B, but if I actually click B1, there is nothing in B1. It's just in A1, but it looks like it's stretched over. But I'm going to hold and, well, I'll do that later. We'll, we'll center it later. So the first thing I want to do is create a formula in F4. So in F4, it's the basic formula, because one, one math operation, is to multiply the units times the price. So it'll be equals, and I'm going to click D4, asterisk, for multiply, E4, whoops, E4. And I'm going to use check mark, and then I'll go over to the little fill handle, and I can either drag it or just double click. Then I'll go to F, um, F8, and I'll do an auto sum and get a total of F4 through F7, and do the same thing for units, enter. And then in underneath in A8, I'll type totals. And what I can do for eight for formatting is choose cell styles, total. And then for the column headings, I can choose styles and pick something. And I can also center the titles, put them in bold, And part two of this assignment it, with fruit fails, sales is to make changes. And one of them is to um, put on the formatting of uh, accounting style. So I'm going to select E through F and choose the accounting dollar sign. So I get the dollar sign. And if there are thousands places, a comma and the decimal two places. And then one of them is to change the units that's in apples in D4. So if I click D4, it just selects it. And um, I'm just going to, I don't have to press delete. I'm just going to type right over this. So it's just going to type, just type 1000. I don't have to press delete. And then press enter to accept it. 
And what happens here is this column, because now it's a thousand times a dollar forty-nine, the answer is much larger. So I have to go up to the boundary and double click so that everything is shown. And now that I am in the thousands place, I don't I want to see a comma in the thousands place, but I don't want it in dollar sign because these are units. So I'm going to select the comma feature. When I select the comma feature, it automatically puts in decimal places, which I don't want. So I'm going to choose decrease decimal once and decrease twice. And the next thing I want to do, I'm going to click in uh, A1 and I want to change the date to 2022. So if I click in here, I'd, I'd have to type over fruit sales 2018 and I don't want to type fruit sales again. If I double click, it puts the cursor in there and then I can actually go ahead and just fix what I need to and keep it. Another way you could do it is if you, again, if you just click the cell, it's just selecting the cell. I don't have the flashing cursor in there. I have to double click to get the flashing cursor in there. Or when you click the cell, if you press the function key F2, it automatically puts the cursor in there. So if you just click a cell, F2 will, will make it where you can make a correction. Or if you click the cell, some people go up to the formula bar and then just make the correction there. Now we're ready to center the title so that it's between columns A through F. So in A1 with your open plus, hold and drag, so it's as far as column F, and then choose merge and center. And then if you'd like to choose a different style, you can, and then I would change the, the font size so it's larger. You can put it in bold if you'd like. And then in um, row 10, you can type your name, enter, and then for today's date, you'll choose formulas, date and time, select today, and OK. And there's the formula, decrease today, open, close parentheses. And so again, this can be separate on its own workbook, Fruit Sales 2022, or you can have it at the end of your um, all the tabs in the assignment homework number one. And if you want to change the tab color, you're more than welcome to do that. And that's a save and submit for the Fruit Sales. Thank you.